In this video we will see how to enter BIOS even if you can't see the UEFI firmware option. And same explanation you will click on the Tamil link. Also refer other tech troubleshoot videos in my playlist, Techno Tips. Few months before I posted a video regarding virtualization enablement and the link for that video is on the top i card. So for this video I got lot of positive comments from you people and I would like to give you a small thanking credit for your comments in the end of this video. I thank you all for your support and also in that video many have asked a repeated question like how to enter BIOS setup to enable virtualization if UEFI option is missing. So I'll tell you the solution for your query in this video. Usually all system models will have a shortcut key for BIOS. I gave you some of these keys here and I'll tell you where to use it. Once you power on your system, you should press this shortcut key to enter into BIOS setup. And in some system models, there will be a physical key near to the power button. You can press that and go to BIOS setup or else you can press these shortcut keys to enter BIOS setup to enable virtualization and other features too. There are also other few methods to enter BIOS even if UEFI is missing in your system. In your system you can see the windows icon. So just click that and uh, you can see the restart option. Just press the shift key in your keyboard and select the restart button. This will direct you to this troubleshoot screen where you can go to BIOS also which I will tell you later. If you can't do this step, just go to your command prompt and type the below command here. Second method is go to your system settings. This you can get it from your windows search bar itself. Here choose the option update and security. And here in the left side select the option recovery. And once you select, go to the right side, select the option advanced startup and you can click the restart now button. Here select the troubleshoot option, go into the advanced option and here you can see the UEFI firmware option. Suppose if this option is missing, no need to worry, just select the startup settings option. Here you should select the restart option and this will direct you to BIOS setup. And while restarting in some models, it will ask for that BIOS shortcut key which I have mentioned earlier in my video. So don't forget to give that shortcut key while restarting. So hope you got these methods and uh, it's not right that only if UEFI option is there we can enter into BIOS and enable virtualization. Even if UEFI firmware option is missing. Follow these methods to enter BIOS setup and we can enable whatever features we need including virtualization. So that's it and if you have any doubts regarding this comment below and if you think the video is useful to you please like the video and subscribe to my channel today's encyclo. And as I said earlier in this video those who gave positive comments for my first ever technical video in this channel how to enable virtualization in Tamil and English. I would like to thank them at this moment. Thank you all for your support and keep supporting always. Thank you for watching this video. 
Please like, share and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.